Hey guys, so this is a, uh, a quick tip in Navisworks uh, when working with a point cloud. Uh, so as you can see here, I've got Navis uh, open and I've got a point cloud loaded in here. And uh, what's nice about point clouds and Navis is that you can bring them in here. They're really easy to navigate. And then on top of that, you can bring in the modeled elements. Uh, so you can see some of those down here and then up here. Um, but the quick tip I want to show you is how to actually change these point sizes. And to do that is really easy. You would just come up here to the, uh, uh, the big N, click on that, and then go to Options. And then if by default, if everything is closed, go to Interface. And then go down to Display and click on Display. And then right here in Printed primitives there is point size line size snap size you can change the point size between one and nine so we'll just do nine make it pretty dramatic so you can see the difference and right there's the difference so it's pretty dramatic and um i kind of like it this way because i think it it uh, definitely makes things pop it fills in a little bit better you can see here like where the pipe is pretty well and you can see the model pipe is off by a few inches. So it's up to you how you want to do this. It depends on the point cloud itself, how good it is. Um, but you do have a few options to edit that uh, after you load that point cloud into here. And uh, if you haven't load, loaded a point cloud into Navisworks, it off right off the bat it'll be you can kind of navigate it pretty easily but it takes a bit for it to load but after it's been initially loaded then you can navigate it uh pretty quickly and it doesn't have to regenerate the entire thing every time so that's kind of nice uh, but you can see here the pipes been modeled in at least in the correct position um here for the most part But, uh, but yeah, just go into options and then display and then into the primitive or go to options, interface, display, and then primitive uh, options. So interface, display, and then down here, the point cloud or the point size. And just change it to whatever uh, works for you. And then after you're done, you can click OK. And then now you have... Um, uh, I guess it depends on how your point cloud is, but in some cases it may be a little bit more visible than if it was just set to one, which is generally what it is by default. So let me know if you have any questions or if you want me to share anything else uh, with Navisworks. Uh, I appreciate you watching. Thanks a lot.